All right, guys, got kind of an interesting problem. I've been using this uh, landscape rake, and uh, I noticed I was having a hydraulic issue with the lift yesterday. So I wanted to uh, just take a quick video here to sort of show you what's going on with it. I'm probably going to end up taking this to the dealer to get them to look at it. Um, and while I'm there, I'm going to have them do the air box or air cleaner change out. Uh, which from what I'm hearing is uh, now covered and uh, John Deere will replace it for free. So that's good news. But I um, wanted to show you this uh, hydraulic issue. I got 110 hours on the tractor at the moment. I um, haven't been using it much in the last you know, three or four months, but I did do a, uh, a little bit of work on my front lawn yesterday. I was putting some uh, garden soil down, trying to level it out. And I noticed that this lift was acting a little bit funny. So. Let's uh, take a look at it and uh, see what you think about it. Maybe it's an easy fix, I don't know. All right, so the lift will actually come up when the pump's running. It'll sit here and oscillate. Doesn't matter what height I've got it on, that's max height. also really slow to raise up and uh, when I actually curl the bucket you'll notice that it drops so if I use the front end loader in any capacity it's taking hydraulic flow away from this thing well, the front loader works fine this uh, this is just acting really weird and as soon as I normally when I shut the engine off this thing will stay in position As you can see, it uh, starts drooping as soon as you cut the pump off. Uh, so it makes me think it's a check valve or something in the line that feeds the, the lift mechanism here that's uh, acting a little funny. Uh, maybe a pressure cutoff valve or something is hitting high pressure and releasing, high pressure release, high pressure release, and then the check valve's not kicking in. So hopefully this is not a big fix. Uh, an expensive fix, but um, I'm a little concerned. So if you guys have any ideas, I'd love to hear from you. Uh, hit down in the comments below. Uh, let me know what you think it is. And uh, once I get it to the dealer, I'll uh, update this uh, video with some, uh, put a comment down about uh, what actually uh, was going on here. So hopefully this will help somebody uh, this might be happening to in the future. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. See you on the next one.